Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and this is an exercise on the Generative Sheet Metal Workbench in KTIV5. On the left side you can see the drawing which is required to uh, do the exercise so you can refer it from here and uh, I will be showing you how you can use these dimensions and uh, make up a design like this one right here. So this is a sheet metal component of a holder clip and let's see how you can proceed. Firstly, make sure that you're on the generated sheet metal workbench. If you're not, just click on this and open up a workspace like this. Once you're on the workspace, first thing you need to do is set the sheet metal parameters as usual. So make a note that uh, these exercises are something which you need to follow once you have gone through the other basic uh, tool usage tutorials which is there in my channel. You could also follow this channel, any beginner can also follow this channel, but it would be better if you go through the other tools so that you don't miss the usage of any tools. Alright, now you have set the shade parameters. The first thing you need to do is uh, to take up the sketch tool and firstly you need to sketch the base. So for sketching the base you need to select the XY plane right here. Firstly, do the sketch which is here. You could do this one. So, for doing that, let's take the profile tool. Let me make the, uh, or to say, the specification tree a little smaller. And uh, once you're here, just make a basic line and release it and make up the dimension for it. So the dimension for this one is 101. So let me insert 101 there. I'm sorry my keyboard is doing not so doing well today so I'll go for 101 there so I've set the basic length for this now what you could do is select the profile tool and just create the basic layout Make sure you are not uh, creating any automatic dimension which you really don't intend to. So that creates our basic lines. And now select the constraining tool, double click it, and create the constraints which you can see here, 27. So as you have set the first uh, line length, almost all the lines will be almost similar to or very near to the real dimension which is there just go for 27 here right now this must be 8 and this is 28 This one is 19. What else? This is 20. What else you need? Mm. 
must be okay. 32 is here. So I'm sorry if I'm a little slow. We'll catch up in the next tutorial. Must be 32. And this height. This must be 44. This must be 32. Make sure you're not uh, making any mistakes when you're doing this, this dimension because, uh, you know, it must be a little, uh, you know, there is a high chance that you make mistakes when you're doing this dimension. Maybe this uh, 32 which you give here might be the whole dimension here. So it's better if you read the dimension drawings properly. This is 20. So what is missing? You could find what is missing by just clicking and moving the white line. So this height is missing. So just find out that what that height is. Okay, you could just, what you could do is you could just go inside that height because that height is not separately given there. So we assume that it's the same height there. And uh, once we are at this particular point, what you could do, just make sure all the lines are green, come out the sketch and go for a wall. Go for a wall. That's a wall there. Now you have the basic wall. So, this is the basic wall on which uh, we are going to do the flanges or bending or bend on wall, uh, wall on edge or whatever. So, this is the first part of the tutorial, and I hope uh, you have enjoyed this. And I hope you have followed all the points which I have mentioned on this. And uh, please keep watching and let me know if you have any doubt on this particular part. You could comment below the video, and you can write to me at ktr.pro.user at gmail.com for any tutorial suggestions or if you have any CAD projects. Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned.